What's up, Spikes? We are back with back. another episode of the Goliath Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Uh, you're not playing Goliath Gauntlet this time. You were Damn in the it. last game. We didn't. Uh, we did mention it in whatever. Anyway. Somehow. Um, I, I said it was the name of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so this is uh, for us game two for you game question mark of the Benji Gauntlet. Mm -hmm. uh, so as I mentioned previously or for the first time, I am playing Benji <laughs> with all of the tools that he got from Everfest. Although because this is a slower matchup, I'm going to be uh, showcasing a little bit different of a way to play the deck. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm playing Benji. Uh, hopefully going to be able to attack a bunch with uh, low cost and low attack attacks. Uh, attacks. I also have Kodachis uh, mm. to slice a little bit, mm. slice and dice. Uh, they make julienne fries, notably. Um, I also, uh, so normally this deck would want to play the uh, Mask of the Pouncing Lynx uh, so that you can tutor up the Spring Tidings. But because this is going to be a much slower game, uh, Elliot does have five block, uh, actually six technically with Rampart. Uh, I feel like I have to do a little bit slower, a little bit grindier of a game if possible. Uh, so I am playing Mask of Momentum just to sort of grind out a little bit of uh, extra value over attacks. I am also because I'm a very, very tiny man uh, and I need as much help as possible. I'm playing Ironhide uh, Plate and Gauntlet. The reason that these are played specifically is because they block for two and all of the cards in this deck are free. So I don't need the resources for really anything else. Um, it's just, it just can help you things. live. That's for life. It can help you live. Uh, and then I have Breeze Rider Boots. Uh, they still just give things combo. They give combo things go again. That's just really strong. So I'm going to intend to hopefully do that. Uh, anyway, so what have you brought to the table today? Uh, yeah, like Bill was saying, a bit of a slower matchup uh, this time around. Hopefully I am playing Bravo, uh, the uh, young guardian hero Bravo, not uh, Starbo. Yeah. Uh, but I am bringing Titan's Fist and Rampart of the Ram's Head. Uh, again, like Bill was kind of saying, I hopefully want to be able to get in with this and block a little bit. Um, maybe not die because of it. Uh, I'm bringing Helm of Eisen's Peak, uh, Tectonic Plating, Crater Fist, and Mage Master's Boots. Um, again, like Bill said, mostly just five block. Uh, I don't know... Uh, the effects, I'm for sure not using this Crater Fist. Mm. Um, the Helm, I might, but I feel like I'm probably not getting ahead in the matchup enough to uh, use the Helm, maybe. But I guess I guess we'll find out. Indeed. Um, and yeah, uh, Bravo also got a, a couple of tools from Everfest that will be in this deck. There is one in particular that I am hoping to <laughs> draw. No spoilers. Indeed. Uh, so I believe... We are good to go. Mm -hmm. I did win the die roll and chose to go first. You did. I am hopefully going to be able to uh, put some battle worn counters and temper counters on your on your stuff there. That's no why stop. I want to go first here. Uh, so what we're going to kick off with? Uh, I'm going to pitch this crane dance for two resources, and with one floating, I'm going to just come in with a kadachi. I'm just going to hit you, attack you for one with go again. That's the hope. Sure, I'll take one. Okay, I'm going to use my other resource floating to attack you with a second Kadachi. I will take one. Interesting. I'm just going to attack you with this Ride the Tailwind. Uh, so it's a blue one. It comes in for one. And if it hits the next attack action card with two or less base power, I play this combat chain gets go again. And it itself has go again. OK. Uh, I guess now is as good a time as any because of the way that turn one works. Hmm. I will declare a block okay. with this Rampart. And I will. Uh, pitch this buckling blow to do so. So I will have two resources floating, Indeed. I suppose, but this will be blocking for one. It has been blocked. Nice. For one. Nice. Then uh, I would also like to attack you with this one, I guess. Uh, Rising Knee Thrust for two, because for two. this had go again. It does not have go again from the attack, but I'm attacking you for two. Okay. Uh, I will take two. Okay. That sounds good enough to me. Uh, then that didn't have go again. I do believe I'm going to arsenal this. Unfortunately, my mask didn't trigger because you did block the thing, the, the ride, the tailwind, mm -hmm. Big but, brain. uh, yeah, I'll put that card into my arsenal and I will draw some cards. Cool. Uh, I'm going to have a little bit of a, a setup turn here I as, see. as we call it in the biz. Indeed. Uh, I'm going to pitch this staunch response. It is a blue one, uh, just to my tectonic plating. Mm -hmm. So I will make a seismic surge token. That sounds good. Uh, then I have two resources floating, but uh, it's not going to matter. They're not going to do anything this turn. Uh, I am going to pitch this blue unmovable in order to cast this showtime. 
Uh, so I would like to search my deck for a Guardian Attack card. Off of this showtime, I am going to put this Pulverize into my hand. Mm. Uh, then I would like to move to my end <laughs> phase. Okay. Uh, and trigger heave three I see. on my pulverize, which says at the beginning of my end phase, which where we are, which is where we are currently. I moved there just yeah. now. We're, we're uh, there, right? This now. is the end phase. Oh, crazy. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> it was in my hand and I did have an empty arsenal zone. So I will pay another three resources hmm. uh, because I only had two floating. Awkward kind of. But, you know, uh, and then I will put this face up in my arsenal and create Three more Seismic Surge tokens. I'm in danger. <laughs> you hopefully are. Yeah, definitely. Indeed. Uh, and then that is my end phase, so okay. I will like to do the thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's kick things off. Let's get let's get spicy. Uh, spi spicy Benjamin. Uh, mucho. Stop. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start. I'm gonna pitch this crane dance with two floating. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attack you with this little sword. Little sword. It's a little sword of mine. I'll take one from the little sword. Interesting. I'm going to do it again. <sighs> I will take one more from the other little sword. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, I have one resource floating. I would like to uh, attack you with this head jab for two with go again. For two with go again. It, ha it inherently has go again. That's crazy. It is crazy. I would like to take two. Okay. Because I like must or whatever. Okay. I would like to trigger mask of momentum. <gasps> I've been fooled. You have been fooled. Uh, so I will draw a card. Mm -hmm. uh, Benji will also trigger. Mm -hmm. uh, so my, when an attack action I control hits, my next attack this turn gets plus one. Plus one. I would also like to uh, crack these Breeze Rider boots. That's bad for me. I think I'm going to crack the Breeze Rider boots. Yeah. Uh, so my uh, cards with combo have go again this turn. Let's attack some more, I suppose. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to attack you with this Fluster Fist for two with go again. Uh, it is for three. I apologize. It is for three with go again. It is for three. It is for three. I'm going to take this three after oh, much deliberation. Goodness gracious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. I would like to go to nine health. Okay. Uh, I'm going to follow that up. I'm going to play this rushing river. Uh, it is for two. It has combo. So it does also have go again and is okay. for two. Uh, yeah. How many cards do you have in hand? Two. How many resource? One. I will take two interesting i would like to attack you with flood of force uh if rushing river or flood of force was the last attack this combat chain when i attack with this i reveal the top card of my deck if it's a card with combo i put it into my hand this gets plus three and go again but it already had go. it already has go again so do i hit a card with combo let's see i do it's Disaster. wins of eternity uh unfortunately i don't have any other hundred wins but i am attacking you for four four is a lot I would like to take four. Interesting. I would like to be at three. Uh, I will then attack you <laughs> with this Winds of Eternity. Uh, it is for two, and it has go again, thanks to my Breeze Rider boots. Okay, that one I will block. Okay. I would like to also attack you with this Rising Knee Thrust for two. Yeah, you know what? I'll go to one. Okay. I didn't come here to be a coward, William. Okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, so that gets a temper counter. It does. I have no other cards that I can utilize. Uh, but I will move to the end of my turn. Those go into my graveyard. <laughs> and I will draw four cards. Okay. You're up. That might have been a huge mistake. <laughs> we're, about to, we're, we're about to find out. <laughs> uh, at the beginning of my turn, or beginning of my action phase, showtime breaks. Mm. Draw a card. Interesting one. It's an interesting one. Okay. Uh, these four seismic surges also break. Thank so you. my next guardian attack action card that I play is going to be reduced by four. Indeed. I would like to do what I came here to do, uh, which is pitch this tear asunder. Oh, goodness. To attack you with this rouse the ancients which is notably not a guardian attack, mm. which is very good for me. Um, I would like to reveal this pulverize. The second pulverize. Mm -hmm. uh, that is attacked with total power more than 13. <laughs> uh, so this Rouse the Ancients will be for seven with go again. Seven with go again, he says. Mm -hmm. I will take seven. Cool, 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 cool. 
Sounds good. Do you have any attack reaction? I do not have any attack reaction. I have no defense reaction. Okay, perfect. Okay. Please take seven. We did it. Nice. <laughs> uh, then I would like to play from my arsenal, I suppose. Hmm. Uh, a pulverize. Uh, that costs six, which hmm. I will pay for with this choke slam and this terra sunder, which are both blue. I would like to attack you for 14. 14, he says. Mm hmm. Uh, well, that is currently more than the life total that I have. Yeah, not like enough um, more, though, I don't think. But it is more, mm -hmm. is the thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be declaring some blocks. Oh, really? Uh, I'm going to block with those three. And uh, for the iron hides, I'm going to pitch this yellow whelming gust wave to pay for them uh, to give them plus two defense this turn. Yes. Uh, so I will be blocking for a total of six. Six. Uh, you have one card in hand, no resources floating, so I can't get pummeled out of the game. <laughs> uh, I will declare blocks for six. Sounds good. Please take eight. I'm at two. Uh, the first attack during your next turn will have minus four. Kooky. 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 Uh, I will arsenal this mysterious card. All of my equipment blows up. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pitch, uh, I'm going to pitch this crane dance. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make two little goblin men. Little goblin uh, men. Because one of them is holding this sword that is swinging at you with go again. Uh, harmonized Kodachi. Uh, notably, Pulverize is not action card. Mm. Uh, so this is for negative three. It is for negative three. Mm. Do you have any blocks? <laughs> no. <laughs> I would like to gain three life. <laughs> oh, is that how that works? I hope so. <laughs> Probably I not. I really need it to be. <laughs> uh, okay, so it is coming in for zero. Nice. Okay. Nice. That is your first attack, though. Yes. So. Uh, so my second attack, does it have any sort of... Is that... No. Okay. I would like to attack you for one. Unfortunate. Mm. You can would, block this with cards from your hand. Oh, by the way. it is I only forgot. attack action cards. I did forgot. About you that. did forgot. I did foregore. Yeah, I, oh, I foregore. Um, I will do so. I suppose. Interesting. In order to hopefully not die. Interesting. Uh, it will be this righteous cleansing. That's a big one. Mm. Uh, then come at you with this head jab for two. Well, I uh, cannot let that hit me. Yes. Because I will die. Interesting. If that happens. Very interesting. Uh, so I would like to block with this tectonic plating, I mm -hmm. suppose. Uh, that had go again. I would like to attack you once again for two uh, with this fluster fist. Oh, I would like to double block with a helm and a crater fist. You have successfully uh, blocked all of the things. You did not take damage. That's insane. Mm. I can't believe that that happened. Mm -hmm. You have successfully blocked. Uh, so let's uh, let's figure this out. Okay, my crater fist uh, also explodes. Take two damage. <gasps> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and these get battle counters, battle warny counters. All right, Bill. I would like to pitch this cranial crush mm. for three resource. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to use one of it to make a seismic surge token. You have. That's just you know good uh, resource use. Yeah. On my part, resource use. Uh, because then I am going to play this spinal crush because if the other card in my hand is a blue that will be for five it is coming in for nine attack uh and then some stuff about go again if it hits for mm. four or more mm -hmm. i see i see mm -hmm. uh well obviously we can't let that happen why not uh a couple reasons <laughs> Could you name them? Uh, there's exactly two reasons. <laughs> <laughs> My life. <laughs> uh, I will declare blocks for nine. Yeah. I have one card in hand. Great. Okay. Yeah, I, I need it to be a bad one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, that I did block with the spring tidings. No nice. Problem. Good. Uh, yeah, that did not hit for anything, so nothing happens. Uh, go to the end of my turn. Okay. I would like to attack you for two with this hundred wins. That's not the worst thing in the world, actually. Uh, yeah, because it well, it means I don't die. So yeah, it, it you, has to be pretty good. <laughs> objectively, it is the correct play currently because uh, you don't die. Yes. So it's funny, too, because I will do so. I will pay for this rampart with <laughs> a grandeur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Which actually. will make a second seismic, second surge, seismic surge, which is maybe the the linchpin to my plan here it's it's possible it's anything is possible really. super possible yeah okay uh, that will have defended for two yes somehow i hang on another turn now you only have the shield 
Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Uh, I will go to my turn, I suppose. Yes. I will crack both of these seismic surges. Indeed. So my next guardian attack will cost two less. Mm -hmm. I think giving the thing in my hand dominate, in theory, wins me the game. Mm. So I will do that. Mm. I would like to <laughs> pitch this disable mm -hmm. uh, to activate Bravo Indeed. with one resource floating. Uh, so the... Uh, things with, uh, sorry, attack action cards. I should stop calling them things. This is a, a professional YouTube channel. <laughs> attack action cards with cost three or greater gain dominate. Okay. Go again. Yes. Then because <laughs> of these two seismic surges from my grandeur paying for my rampart, mm -hmm. I can cast this debilitate with this zealous belting from my hand, which is an attack for six with dominate. I need it to not be... Wait, it can't even be two Flick Flacks, right? It can be a single... Uh, no, yeah, it, it can't be two. Because if it was a red Flick Flack, I still take two. Yes, yes, but it could be a Flick Flack and a Sigil of Solace or something. Could be a Sigil of Solace. <laughs> yeah. It's actually funny that you mentioned Sigil of Solace. Um, because what I'm going to do just before that hits... Uh, I'm going to cast Razor Reflex on it. Um, except I can't because it's not my turn. I'm not the attacking player. And also, uh, this is not an attack action card with cost one or less. Oh, um, you're disqualified. Oh, okay. I win the gauntlet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can only block it for a maximum of three. So I go to negative one. Uh, that is what I was hoping. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Ugh. I, we were talking about this probably off camera. Why did I, why did I put this here? Okay, can you ever cast that? No. <laughs> you would have to pitch your whole hand. I would have to draw a hand of three blues and at least a red and then not block anything or pay for anything. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know why I put that. Actually, there. if you drew a hand of three blues, that is 12 resources. So you could also give it dominate. <laughs> <laughs> or four four for, blues, yeah. yeah. Dominate. If it was exactly yeah. four blues, you can give it dominate yeah. and cast it. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> we pr we took a couple of breaks yeah. in in this game. One while Bill's one attack was on the stack or whatever you want to call it, the mm -hmm. chain. Mm -hmm. Because I was thinking to myself, what are my hits for <laughs> just killing this man on the next turn? Uh, and I had quite a few. It was like ten. Right. It was something Total? like ten in my whatever thirty six cards left in my deck or what or something no one two plus four 34 cards left in my deck mm -hmm. um and i hit the second pulverize which was not one of the hits it needed to at least be a yellow kind of the farthest from a hit right? yeah it needed to at least be a yellow uh because i don't know what you're doing but i'm, I'm, gonna, I'm suiting him up. i'm gonna keep talking <laughs> yeah do it um because i needed to attack with this rouse with go again um so like one of the things that I needed to hit was a second attack that had at least seven or more attack because I had this blue choke slam in my hand. Mm. So the idea was uh, pitch a blue, play the rouse, revealing the two uh, cards that make it 13, then pitch a blue, give it dominate, pitch two blues, cast pulverize for 14. Um, we drew the second pulverize, so we did not get to do any of that. <laughs> Um, but we still attacked for a lot. And I mean, I did win the game, I yes. guess. Um, it was very close, though. Uh, I don't know that I am that worried about the sideboard plan of going into a slightly slower thing. Um, like, I don't know that specifically getting Mask would have been better than... Uh, or Mask of the Pouncing Links would have been better than Mask of Momentum. Because it did draw me two cards. Mm -hmm. Which is, like, you could say two random cards is kind of equivalent to a tutored card maybe i mean it depends on the, the quality of it i think it only drew one uh i drew one on my first turn oh maybe and then maybe that was the only one anyway yeah. I, I think that the mask was a decent play um maybe the pouncing links would have been better because i i had a couple of lines where i could have like gone into an actual combo line like mm -hmm. if i had that like rushing river into flood of force into uh what's the last one here break tide right like that would have been pretty solid uh because this would be an attack for five with dominate that also draws me a card yeah um, it's interesting right because this drew you a card and gained you two life it did. whereas yeah. if this found something i'm 
A, I might have just been dead, or B, yeah. you might have just been dead. Yeah, I so guess, it, right? this so. is a lot more feast or famine. Yeah. Um, this deck, I think, is just not super suited to, like, again, six block plus repeatable one block. This um, was super clutch. I was not yeah. expecting that. And the, <laughs> specifically the grandeur for it yeah. was why I could win that turn, right? Yeah, like, that that's was, That was kind of nutty. But <laughs> anyway, super funny. I, I think that that was a good match, honestly. Like, mm -hmm. that felt fine uh it felt like both of us were able to actually like do stuff right um yeah uh, i i i don't feel too bad about that one i don't know how i could change the deck to make this matchup uh like more favored or whatever but mm -hmm. i think it's fine as is um i still like the otk potential and i like the fact that you can kind of side into a a little bit of a slower grindier game plan with a full zero cost to otk deck yeah interesting yeah. um very cool yeah right. anyway Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and um, head head jab the like button. It is show time, so make sure that you subscribe for our so that you see our next video. Make sure to hit the bell. <laughs> Jim's gonna kill me. Bye. <laughs> Hey, thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. Before you close the window, make sure you click subscribe for more great flesh and blood content.